Welcome back. Joining me on the couch now is pure royalty indeed. Well, he said if I said that, he'll get me into all the VIP sections in town with him. But, uh, but first, let's see him in action. Flick up my collar and I'm ready to rock. OMG, I'm a sexy fuck. We're out tonight and the girls are tanging. Some lucky bird, he's gonna get tanged. High news, Jaegers, three games scored. One shot, two shot, three shot, more. Frank the tank, he can't touch me. I'm king of the beer, I'm the VIP. We're on the lash, oi, we be krill. We're getting shit-faced, going. Okay, now, and, and here he is himself on the couch, his, his Royal Highness Ivor. Ivor, All right, how's it going? Welcome good, to the show, man. Five All right. Five. <laughs> nice to meet you. And um, so, since the launch of, of like everybody's drinking, you've yeah. stormed the charts and dominated YouTube. Yeah. A lot of our viewers are fans, and um, like they, they want to get to know a bit more about you. Can you can you well, tell us uh, something? Well, I'm ridiculously good looking, <laughs> obviously, but that's something you already know. But uh, in the beginning, there was the word, and the word was Ivor. You know. <laughs> Nice. And if you don't know me, you should climb out from under that rock that you've been living under. Seriously. <laughs> Totes. <laughs> well, with the success of the song, uh, you're, really, you're really hot property right now. Um, how are you going to cope with your, with your worldwide fame? Oh my God, I am going to take serious advantage of this. Attention, attention. Lock up your brothers and daughters, because Ivor is on the prow. Totes, my goats. Nice, nice. Yeah. Can, I, can I go with you? Of course you can. Nice, Come nice. with, baby. Um, it, takes, like, it takes some man to pull off a... A nice a pink polo shirt like that, like epic. How, how do you do it? Like what? Totes. Well, it takes a man with a certain like je ne sais quoi about him, you know, with bucket loads of panache and truck loads of you know confidence, which I have all of, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much. And I'd say the women are just hanging out here. This uh, have you have any love interest at the moment? Mad. Love interest. Really, just myself. But that's just <laughs> huge, you know. Um, but now every every woman out there wants to be Mrs. Itch Daddy someday, but. I'm sorry to break all those little hearts out there, but it's not going to happen anytime soon. Toots, the goats. <laughs> what's your best, what's your best chat up line anyway? Best chat up line. Well, the best one I've ever heard a bird say to me was definitely, she goes, oh my God, you are so, so hot. 
can we please go back to your gaff right now? <laughs> and you know what? It actually worked. Really? I eventually gave in to her and all her mates. Toots. <laughs> Toots me go. What's, what's, like, what's the strangest place you've ever woken up after a, a big, big heavy night out? Oh my God. There's been loads of them. One of them, I woke up in the staff toilets in Spar. Absolutely locked I was. Woke up there in the toilets with my feet up on a watermelon, yeah? I had a cheese roll between my legs nice. and a packet of snacks. And the whole bar was closed. It was all locked up. This is at about 7 o'clock in the morning. The manager comes in, went absolutely nuts at me. He was like, what are you doing in here? <laughs> I was like, I don't know, man. Like, look at my birthday badge. I lost all my mates. I don't know what happened. He was like, get them out. <laughs> so anyway, he opens up the shutter. I roll out underneath the shutter like Indiana Jones, jump in a jower and just rock on home. <laughs> Epic fail. Never again. Are you sure it was a cheese roll between your legs? Oh, good. Go to the game. Like I'd say, you know, the amount of drinking you do, especially in that video, it's it's it's, it's great video anyway. Um, like, what do you do to, to cure a hangover? Oh, cure a hangover. Well, I'm giving away one of my epic secrets here, right? Okay. Now, a magnum. Now, I'm not talking about magnum as in like the pose. Right. And I'm or not the, talking or the about the 70s. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> detective. Or the gun. I'm talking about the ice cream, the Magnum, right? You see, what that does is it cools and covers the inside of the stomach and it gets rid of the indigestion and the, the heartburn, any of that kind of thing. And it's really good if you're just lying there, you know, in your bubble bath, a couple of candles around you, you know, and then volume five, just playing gently into your ears at maybe volume, yeah? Yeah, good volume five. And, uh, you, that, that's sure to bring you back from the dead. That is an <laughs> epic way to do it. Nice. That chap, that chap Damo, I wonder how he, how he deals with the hangover. Oh, he probably just gets back on it, I'd say. <laughs> I'd say what so. a creature. <laughs> 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 uh, what's and your favourite thing to do in the world? What would that be? Favourite thing or thing? Yeah, favourite thing. Favourite thing. Mirrors. Well, mirrors <laughs> are amazing. What a great invention. Whoever invented the mirror should definitely be given a medal. Sometimes I just actually stand in front of the mirror just to pass the time. Hours I could spend there just looking at myself, playing any in the background. It's very soothing. Now, I wouldn't do it yourself because it probably wouldn't be the same kind of thing. It wouldn't be the same effect. For it, I'm, fond, I'm fond of looking into ponds every now and then. Ponds? Yeah, yeah. But I usually end up just taking something out, <laughs> bringing it home and eating it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like... Mad for the fish. <laughs> okay, uh, so a few, a few... Well, don't have to be quick fire, but two, two word questions. Uh, BMW or Mercedes? Rolls Royce Phantom, sorry. Oh, nice. Every day of the week. <laughs> uh, Abercrombie or Ralph Lauren? Oh my God. I wouldn't really wear labels. I think that's very naff to show a label, you know? So, because uh, I, I, all my stuff is made, you know, custom made in Italy by Rike Suave. So I wouldn't really wear labels, you know, as such. You know, I just wear the huge. Rike Suave, he's like, he works with John, John Claude Jacquetty. Does he? I think he does. Yeah, <laughs> Maybe I've got his name wrong. No, no, yeah, Enrique Suave, oh, really? is, but he works with Jean-Claude Jacques yeah. They're two famous, very Epic. famous French designers. Uh, vodka or Jaeger? Vodka or Jaeger? Vodka with Jaeger. Well, yeah, that's, that's a concoction. <laughs> vodka, like, you, you, vodka, glass of vodka, drop the, drop the Jaeger Boom, in. Drop her in. Boom, drop her, drop her down. Uh, no wonder you've got some epic hangovers. <laughs> 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 uh, rugby or football? Oh, rugby, come on, dude. <laughs> rugby, it has to be rugby. It's like, you know, say like the rugby ball. I think it's an amazing game. I'll tell you why, like, because it takes a huge amount of stamina. It takes an incredible amount of skill. You know, it's such a macho sport. Like, see the rugby ball there, yeah? Yeah. It's an awkward shape, but what a beautiful looking thing. Yeah, you it know? is. It's, 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 you have it's to nice. get the ball, right? And now, in what game? There's no other game does this. You have to pass the ball backwards just in order to get it forwards. Doesn't that just blow your mind? <laughs> it does, yeah. It's, it's epic, like, it's like it? time space continuum it's shit nuts. going on there. You know, at, a, at a, a rugby match, you know, in the stadium, all you can smell is a huge, strong smell of testosterone. But, you know, at a, um, what do you call it? A, 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 a football match, you know, just full of puffs, full of puffs. <laughs> What's the point of such a, it, it, Bad game. <laughs> that was so <some> fast. <laughs> we could have a good pass house, good house. <laughs> Come in for the true. Toots. See, I can't even, I don't even know if it's football or, or rugby is. It's a bit terrible. No, well, you need to get on it. <laughs> no, You're missing I'd out. love to get on it. I'm speaking of getting on it. 
I, I think you said we were oh, going we to go out tonight, weren't we? So, I just like this to say, Ivor, thanks very much for coming on. and it's great on, stuff. We're going to do stuff. Ivor, wait, wait, don't go into that VIP without me. Okay. Uh, right, uh, we have just to go now. So, thanks very much for watching The Warehouse this week. I'm going to leave you with Robbie Kane with his magic envelope going around asking the public what they think of the secret question. <laughs> wait dude, up, come on, dude, <laughs> come on, we're getting locked. <laughs> Hi, I'm Robbie in City Box, and today we're in the city centre of Dublin asking you unknown questions. And I want an envelope, please. Thank you. And the question is if someone bought you a present of a sex toy, would you use it? Very real question. Let's go see if we can get some answers. Oh, that's for me to know and you to find out. Ooh, like loving one. it. <laughs> Where's the new sex shop? Quick. I don't know. Oh, down there, actually, to your left. Let's go, come on. <laughs> no. Is this what it's me? No. Full no. stop, no. No. Good girl, are you? Yes. 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 If someone bought you a present of a sex toy, would you use it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would definitely. Oh, what if would you, I chose it. What would you like it to be? Um, a big black dildo. <laughs> It'll probably depend on the size of it. <laughs> oh, where to put it? Yeah. Yeah. And how drunk I was. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> 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 yes, why not? Have to try everything. I love it. Yeah. I, I, what else I can tell you? I don't know, like, I don't use it. I, I, everyone has to try everything, I think so. If someone bought you a present of a sex toy, would you use it? Uh, <laughs> it all depends what it is. <laughs> what would you like it to be? Anal beam. Just kidding. A terrorist. I could never show my face in Ireland. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Definitely. What would you like it to be? Um. I, oh God. <laughs> so embarrassing. Something that um, you could use more than once. Great yeah. answer. I love it. Yes. I would. It's depending on the person who bought it for me. What would your ideal sex toy present be? Again, depending on the partner. If it was a fabulously looking girl, model, or your partner yourself, you could say your wife. Right. I would use absolutely anything given to me. <laughs> if someone bought you a present of a sex toy, would you use it? Yes. Would you? Yeah. I don't know what I'd use it for, but we'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> um, it all depends which sex toy it was, and I'd much <laughs> prefer to, to, to obtain a present that I got to use on someone else. Lovely answer. Tip for the ladies there. <laughs> <laughs> it all depends what sort of a sex toy it was, though. What would you like it to be? I don't know. I don't know an amazing amount about them. Uh, <laughs> my sex life is good enough without any toys. Well, I, think, I think a lot of guys would say no, but you know what I mean? You know, but when they got home, they'd look at it and they'd be kind of like ominously staring at it. Absolutely. Oh, you're very open minded when it comes to the beds and the private yeah. with toys. Yeah. 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 Sanity? It depends on what, what toy. If, it, if they weren't like uh, conventional toys like Transformers, you know, with the label of a sex toy, I, mean, I probably wouldn't use that. I'd leave it too weird. <laughs> conventional sex toys. Not that. Depends on what the sex toy would be. <laughs> It depends whether it's for me or for her. So you're open to all options? I don't know how I'm trying everything once, is there? If someone bought you a present of a sex toy, would you use it? God, no. <laughs> Never? No comment. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah of course. Okay. I've been bought sex toys and I've used <laughs> Time and time and time again, there you go. Well, if it was her sort of woman, yeah. <laughs> what would you hope it to be? Um, I don't know. What would I hope it would be? One of those new rabbits, is it? <laughs> a rampant rabbit. A rampant rabbit, now we have it. Huh? Well, the missus is seven months pregnant, so I wouldn't be any use in there, would I? <laughs> if someone bought you a present of a sex toy, would you use it? I wouldn't. One of them, he lives with me. <laughs>